Tua imekuwa talk to us. Asante. Tua imekuwa amazing kama mlivyoona. Umeelewa tunashukuru Mungu sana maana si rahisi. Umeelewa uh, tume sell out karibu state zote. Umeelewa. Nadhani kama state mbili tu pengine ndo tuku sell out vizuri. So it's amazing na tunashukuru Mungu sana. Mm-hmm. Naam. Uh, miongoni mwa states ambazo umeperform unaweza kusema ni gani ambayo unahisi kwamba wali show so much love kiwango wangu ambacho hauko unatarajia? Naweza mm, sema LA, naweza sema Minnesota, naweza sema Dallas. Like karibu states zote yani. Umeelewa maana different state, different vibes. Yeah. Na ni kitu gani ambacho umeona kwenye hii tour ambacho unahisi kwamba eh hey, kimekuwa cha kipekee sana e, ukiangalia tours tofauti ambazo pengine ushawahi kufanya? Utofauti ni kujaribu ku pull like crowd katika kila state maana si jambo si jambo rahisi tumeona kuna wasanii wengi East Africa ambao wameweza kwenda kule lakini mara nyingi unaona unafanya show kama mbili tatu alafu tu haiendelei ama pengine show zingine zinakuwa ziko vizuri mm-hmm. so si tumechukua muda toka 2018 toka 2018 tumekuwa tukijadiliana tukipanga huo mchongo umeelewa sasa ndo maana umeona kila kitu kimekwenda sawa mm-hmm. kila state watu wamekuja na wame vibe wame enjoy Mm. Okay as an artist apart from pulling the crowd uh, which other what was your what, what are other goals that you had uh, ukipanga hii tour and have you been able to, able to achieve them mm, yeah it's just me connecting with my connecting with my fans my fans because i knew it, it was going to be different umeelewa kwa zani watu ambao wamenihitaji toka 20 i would say like 2016 2017 lakini muda wote nimekuwa tumekuwa tu endi maana alikuwa tunataka tuipange tupange kitu kizuri tufanye kitu kizuri and all that so nahisi kwamba ilikuwa ni tofauti and uh, nahisi show za nyumbani na show za kule ni tofauti kidogo at some point different state different vibes lazima ujue ni jinsi gani ambayo unaweza communicate na mashabiki zako umeelewa kuna wengine wanataka vibe kuna wengine wanataka connection maana nyimbo zangu nyingi unajua pia ni ku communicate i communicate with people mm-hmm. yeah. okay tofauti kubwa kati ya show za hapa Kenya na hapo nje ni gani ah uh, show zipo tofauti kuna shows ambazo tunaamini kwamba lazima urushe umeelewa la lazima kelele nyingi lazima watu eh hey! na kuna shows ambazo unaweza kukuta tu umechill na unaimbia una, una watu na una communicate na watu maana nyimbo zetu mara nyingi tunapoziimba tunaziimba katika mazingira fulani katika wakati fulani na uenda kawa tunapitia kitu fulani and all that. So watu wakati leo wanaisikiza pale unapo perform wanataka ile energy uitume pale nje yani kulingana vile huwa wanavyokuwa wakisikiliza and all that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Ufanya tu of course eh, mali kama US so raisi. Pengine unaweza kuwa na kumekuwa na ugumu gani katika yale maandalizi ya kufanya show yenyewe ama challenges kama gani umezipitia pale? Um Simu kweli tumepanga tumechukua muda tukapanga kitu kizuri so hatukuwa na challenges nyingi kitu nitasema ni kwamba tour inachosha unajua watu wanaweza kuwa wanaona mmesafiri mna enjoy umeelewa lakini si rahisi kwa sababu mnaweza kuwa katika wikendi moja mnafanya show tatu na hii show tatu mnafanya state of forty tofauti umeelewa so ina maana state ya kwanza mkimaliza inabidi mfly na ndege yenye kama masaa mangapi kama masaa matatu mkifika kule mjatulia alafu show zao wanazifanya mapema si kama huko shona zafanya sana nani usiku saa 9 usiku umeelewa so unakuta kwamba una hata muda ule wa kupumzika so kuna show zingine ambazo utazifanya ambazo uko fatigue kabisa umeelewa lakini lazima sasa ndo upambane maana show za kule si zile ambazo utaweka leo tu ambie watu njoni umeelewa lazima yani watu wajiandae waombe ruhusa kazini na vitu kama hivyo so kwa kuwa pengine umchovu kidogo uweze sema kwamba tusifanye show leo tufanye kesho lazima upambane tu uwe yeah. Yeah. Ah, wakati that song it was two months ago yeah. and now umeretoka umerudi yeah. to expect nini should we expect something from you now man i don't know i don't know the game is different uh, nimekuwa nikichukua muda pia hiyo miezi mili ninafanya show nimekuwa nikichukua muda nikiangalia ni song nimekuwa kwamba ni kitu gani ambacho watu pengine wanachokitaji wana maana mashabiki pia huwa yeah. wanadhani wanajua kile wanachokitaka lakini hawajui wanachokitaka yeah. mm-hmm. umeelewa yeah. Tukiwa hapo kwenye kufanya kazi uh, umekuwa ukipiga tour huko outside the country internationally uh, tukiangalia kwenye page yako ya Instagram there was a time you met Lil baby Do you, are you planning international collabs yeah, yeah it's a relation you know me what people don't know is like I'm more of a writer mimi naandika sana hata nyimbo za kizungu naandika sana so maongezi ni mapana msione tu kwamba mnataka Tele Brown afanye collab na hapo and all that kuna mikakati ambayo tumeweka ambayo kwamba yani 
kuna nyimba ambazo zipo kwenye mipango mafuta kama maana tulipata kumsikizisha kama uh, ideas zenye tuko nazo na ona na tuka create relationship kwa sababu mimi ile pesa ya maji unaitaka sana mzee pale ndo kupana mapeni marefu and all that so nimeongeza mapana tusiwaze tu mimi mtu ambao hata nikijenga niki relationship jengi relationship kwa kwa nia ama kwa malengo ya kufikiria hapa tu wajua kila unapokutana na msanii wewe tufanye collab aiende hivyo mzee Mm -hmm. Okay, you've said yeah. you are more of a writer. Does it yeah. mean that there are artists that you've written their songs? Not yet because kama nadhani hatuja hasa kwenye industry to East Africa hatuja hatujaeka mikakati na misingi mizuri kwa watu wanaoandika. Naona wa Tanzania wanafanya hivyo lakini sioni kama waandishi wana faidi vizuri and all that. So ndo maana huwa nina uoga. Maana mimi nyimbo zangu ninapoziandika na zichukulia muda umenelea na umakini zaidi and all that. Okay, uh, Otile, yesterday you posted pale Instagram ukasema thank you. Mm -hmm. Kumaanisha show ilikuwa successful ile. But my fans wana feel ujaweza ku connect now because you are zile performances maybe pale kwa Instagram because fan base kubwa sana iko hapa Kenya maybe hujaweza ku, ku connect nao kabisa. Yeah. Ujaweza ku document. I don't know. Uh, documenting has never been my star. Umenelea okay. because um, I'm, I've, I've never been a business of, of proving. Umenelea. Yeah, yeah yani mimi mimi huwa ni fresh. Yani wewe utakavyoona wewe ni poa tu. Umenelea. Mimi yeah. I know my purpose na mimi najua path yangu mwisho siku. Umenelea. Sio katika biashara ya ku compete na vitu kama hivyo. Mimi as long as watu wanakuja kwa performia wame enjoy mimi moyo wangu umeridhika umeelewa my heart is full mm -hmm. na kitu kingine ni kwamba uwezi ridhisha watu wewe unaweza piga show kwa show kali lakini kuna watu ambao pale ndani watu always atahisi kwamba yeah umeelewa yeah. yani uwezi uwezi kuridhisha watu that's why unakuta hata mara nyingi sisi hata msanii kama Chris Brown atakwambia akipanda stage lazima awe nervous maana is different crowds umeelewa every single day is different energies and all that so we are not in the uh, business of proving kwamba tuko hivi tuko hivi like as long as uko tunaonyesha kwamba crowd ilikuwa hivi unaona people really pulled up na uko tunarusha video kama mbili tatu nini yeah. and all yeah hotel yeah. kwa kawaida unajua wewe ni msanii mkubwa sana mm. uh, Kenya mzima ana pia duniani lakini kwa msanii kama watu na expect any kind of music but mm. recently umekuwa ukifanya mziki wa kiingereza mm. kwa nini ukaamua vile cuz lazima tupinde you know lazima lazima tupinde maana i'll tell you this Unaona kuna hii debate inaenda mara nyingi sio wa Kenya sio analalisha nini mm. you know people know, knows the truth but they don't wanna hawataki kuizungumzia ukweli ukweli ni kwamba ni lugha yeah. umeelewa that's the truth umeelewa mm -hmm. the difference between our industry and Nigerian industry is the language na tuwezi shindana na Nigeria kwa hilo maana ni nyimbo ngapi za East Africa ziko kimataifa kiukweli ambao kwamba unaweza utafumie crowd tofauti so nyingi umeelewa so kitu kinachotulimi kitu sisi kama wasanii wa East Africa ni nini ni lugha mimi nikijaribu kupinda kwa mtu wa East Africa inakuwa ni kama yani atuelewe nini atuelewe kizungu and all that kwa sababu watu wameridhika na Kiswahili and all that but um, tukitaka kutusua kimataifa lazima tupinde kidogo yani lugha lazima tu, tu nini hakuna kitu kingine mtu asikwambie sijui people are not working hard bwana katika generation zote hii Kenya for the music industry hakuna generation ambayo iko successful kama hii so uwezi uwezi you can bash people like that umeelewa umeona kina calligraph wanajenga majumba umeelewa yeah, umeona kina bahati wako umeelewa generation iliyopita hawakufanikiwa wako, kufanya hivyo umeelewa so you can just ponda people and all that you know it's not good and we have to really learn how to to love our country because we are sending a very bad you know narrative au there kwa sababu watu wanatuona ni kama hawa hawa vipi vichani ni hawa yani unaenda all all that way yani ku, ku kuaibisha watu wako hata kama hawafanyi vizuri sio poa yeah. so kikubwa ni lugha mtu asikudanganye kwamba ni nini wala ni nini ni lugha tu maana wacha nikwambie kitu kingine nikiongezea tu hakuna naweza sema duniani hakuna watu ambao wanaandika nyimbo yani in terms of skills writing hakuna watu ambao wanaandika nyimbo kama East Africa sure. sisi tunapea attention sana katika mashairi na mistari and all that umeelewa kuna wengine wanapea attention kwenye midundo na melody na vitu kama hivyo lakini sisi tunapea attention katika kile tunachokiandika na tunachokisema umeelewa so uwezi sema kwamba ati atufanye mziki mzuri unakuwa unadanganya ni lugha tu ina to limit maana itafika East Africa na Central 
Naitafika diaspora kwa wale watu wa nyumbani ambao ndio tulikwenda tunawaperformia na pengine wameweza kuput on some friends ambao ni wa inchi zingine wakapata kusikiliza muziki wetu. So yeah. Okay, umetajwa kasema the main issue ni lugha. Mm. Kumekuwa na hii debate ya kupitishwa the bill of playing 75%. Mm. Does it mean at a bill ikipitishwa 75% if the artists don't work on the language mm. bado tutabaki pale pale? <coughs> Inategemea Nimesema nini kama unataka kutusua kimataifa kwa sababu wasanii wakubwa naweza uniambie kama top let's say kama top 5 top 6 East Africa kama top 10 wasanii top 10 unakuta kwamba wametusua tu nyumbani vizuri central wako poa umeelewa lakini tunasema kama tutataka kuifanya kama wanaijeria wanavyoifanya wanaijeria kinachookoa ni lugha umeelewa tusidanganyane as much as tunasema kwamba Oh Kiswahili kinaweza tusua. Unaweza pata unaweza batika kupata wimbo kama moja tu ka ukatusua. Lakini sio nyimbo nyingi ambazo zita zitaweza kufanya hivyo. Nikwambie nikukumbushe tu ngoma East Africa ambayo ishaifanya vizuri kimataifa ni gani? Babylon. Ah ah Like East Africa. Wewe uh-huh. oh, unajua ni wimbo gani ambao ishafanya vizuri? Yaani kimataifa watu wakaupokeana ni wimbo wa nyumbani. Ni wimbo mmoja peke yake. I do. I think you know. So na I do. Hmm? I do. Na. Wimbo ushafanya vizuri ni wimbo wa Idikenzo. Unajua hiyo wimbo inaitwaje ile wimbo? Sitia Sitia loss. Umeelewa? If now we if you wanna get real. Yeah, Umeelewa? Yeah, yeah. Wewe ndio wimbo ushaenda kimataifa na wazungu wakaucheza na unakuta kwamba kilichofanya wimbo wenyewe kutusua ni sio sio ngoma tu ni all round yani ile video wale watoto wakicheza mle ndani ndio ilienda zaidi and all that. Na uliona alifanya show mpaka kwa wazungu na vitu kama hivyo. Lakini uwezi sifanya nyingi, uenda kabatika moja tu na vitu kama hivyo. Lakini kuna vibes za kizungu unazoweza unazoweza kuzifanya, umeelewa? Na ikatusua. Ndio maana unaona mimi sichoki kujaribu. Kama unielewe ni fresh tu. Maana mimi nyimbo za Kiswahili naweza kuimbia leo hadi kesho kuto mzee. Umenelea. Yeah. Mm. Kutile out of music kidogo. Last week tumempokea miguna miguna. Amekuwa mm. uh, out of the country for the past five, five years. Ni message gani labda uko nayo kwa miguna? Karibu nyumbani tu. Sina mengi. Okay. Mm. Na swali nataka niulize. Ah, uh, wewe ni msanii ambaye unazunguka nchi tofauti, unafanya shows na ukienda sehemu tofauti of course unakaribishwa vizuri. And right now kumekuwa na conversation ya Uh, na isi Eric Mondi akisema kwamba tusikubali wasanii kutoka nchi tofauti tusikubali wasanii kutoka West Africa eti tujijenge kwanza sisi wa Kenya sijui maoni yako yanakuwa ni epic kuhusu hilo na mimi mimi si support hilo umeelewa i believe like if you are eating if you are eating you ain't getting no bread umeelewa so mi hiyo ni kitu ambacho haiko katika um, imani yangu na jinsi ninavyo umeelewa ninavyoendesha kazi yangu and all that. Mi, kwa sababu mimi pia nataka nikaperform Nigeria. Umeelewa? Nataka nikaperform nchi zingine tofauti tofauti. So mimi huwa sinaga issue kabisa na watu kuja kuperform hapa. Umeelewa? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Otile hapa kwa kuandika <coughs> excuse me kwa kuandika ngoma za Kiingereza ama kuimba ngoma za Kiingereza. Mm. Uh, your fellow artist came out clear akasema kwamba you need to take a break from music industry mm. kwa sababu zile ngoma unaimba bado zile za Kiingereza mm. I'm talking about Will Paul what would be your response to that mm. alisema hivyo yes. sikusikie mm sawa so, ndo break ninachukua na naregea sawa so, juzi pia tumeona ume break ninachukua yeah. na naregea so acha tuone kama upo tayari yeah. yeah. Last big project ambayo ume, umefanya I think nice ilikuwa EP yako mm-hmm. pengine kuna mipango ya album in the future au um Album kwa sasa urongo. Mm-hmm. Pengine ni una part- partnership ambao pengine wewe na mchongo mzuri. Yeah. Uh, Alafu sasa tunaweza jadiliana kwa hilo. Lakini kwa sasa urongo. So, kwa sasa ni single tu. Nataka kuzipromosha kama zote. So mnajua mtindo wangu. <laughs> Nimechukua break nimeregea. So ni moja baada nyingine and all that. So yeah. Okay. Ah, Otile Sidika released a song and maybe uh, she's a good artist. Are you planning to You're trouble. <laughs> You're trouble. You're taking your time then you are. <laughs> Una ni hit na maswali mengine ajabu ajabu. Am I why you saying? Uh, was saying if maybe you can do a collab together with her because she did a nice song and we really appreciate that. Oh yeah. It's all love. Mimi mtu yote akieletea wimbo mzuri tunafanya tu. Umeelewa? Haijaikuwa issue. Mimi si wale wasanii ambao kwamba lazima msanii awe mkubwa anafanya naye kazi. 
Ukiona sijai fanya na msanii mdogo ni kwa sababu hajaendeleta tu kazi ambayo nimeridhia. Yaani mimi wimbo ukiwa mkali I'm on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. tukiwa hapo kwa wasanii ambao wewe uchagui kufanya kazi na wasanii. Au uh, ulikuwa hapo awali ukifanya kazi na Lexiel uh, na amekuwa akifanya kazi vizuri yeah. na wa Kenya. There are some people who feel like uh, he's very talented yeah. but underrated. Yeah. What do you think about that? Um he is very talented and he has like he has like um a international sound and I, I think like people should really uh, support him. Many leo and um yeah, nitasema nini wanze? Yeah, Lexil is is dope na tunajaribu, tunajaribu tuone jinsi gani tunaweza umeelewa. Okay, yeah. ulipokuwa pale uh, US Otila Brown, of course ulikuwa unapiga show zako, kulikuwa na live performances. Na kulitokea video kadhaa zilikuwa zinatembea kwenye mtandao, kwenye blogs. There are some fans who felt like ah kidogo Otile mm. live ametuangusha kidogo. What mm. can you say about that? Ah uh, inategemea, inategemea. Um I've never walked around like I'm thinking like I'm the man. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that I'll, I'll never. Yani, mimi na mean yani. Omenelea. Mi na mean yani. I believe, really believe in myself, and my confidence is from inside. You know, it's not even the outer confidence and all that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's the best confidence ever. So for me, I've never walked around like I'm that guy. Omenelea. Na zamu kaleo ni kwa naimba vizuri ya subuhi kafika jioni sauti mekata watu melipa show lazima ni pambani and all that. Na mimi, if I'm taking an, an L, I embrace it like a man. Umenelewa. Mm -hmm. Nikichemisha na juwe na chemisha. Mene jamu kata kumbia. Mm -hmm. Umenelewa. Na juwe hapa ni mechemisha lakini kesho mtajiboresha na mna gani. Yeah. Kwa sababu kama nivu kumbia, nafanya show kama ta, tatu weekendi moja. Mm -hmm. So raisi, mimi na adam. Mwisho mm -hmm. siku. Umenelewa. Kwa pale kuna siku yeah. pengine sauti ilikata. Yeah. yeah, zipo lakini unapombane and all that. Umenelewa. Kuna soli ngipena kuliza. Uh, ulikuwa mezungumzia the way the music industry has changed to work hard and of course tunona wasani wa sasa hivi wanafanya wana make moves, calligraph, anajenga, bahati, anafanya project flani na flani but we ain't seen Otile Brown akionyesha ni kwamba aufanyi ama umechagua kutuonyesha Sifanyi nini? Ufanyi, ufanyi project za kwako ama umechagua tu kutuonyesha hizo project? Um, Siyo kwenye biashara ya kuonyesha sana, nesonyesha kidogo tu umenelewa kama viwele vitatu ku inspire just for the motivation no purposes lakini misipo sana kwenye biashara ya kuonyesha and all that umenelewa but if you know you know umenelewa if you know you know like yeah so yeah otile wakati ulikuwa pale us bado mm. uh, you posted uh, you wish to your ex girlfriend na bayet mm. a happy birthday alafu mm. mafans wakaanza kusema otile una simp una mbembeleza mrudiane vitu kama vile mm. usimp no kufanya nini usim ni ninasemaje na Kiswahili <laughs> yani kama kama unajipendekeza unajipendekeza yani ule mshikaji wangu mzee najipendekezaje sasa umeelewa ule mshikaji wangu unajua acha niambie and i want to talk to the youngings let me tell you one thing ishi maisha yako and be you you know kuwa wewe and attract the right people because i know i see right now there's a lot of talk and everybody is trying to be a motivational speaker everybody everybody's trying to give you a game Umenelewa. Don't pretend to be who you are not and you end up in attracting like the you know the wrong people and all that. Umenelewa. be yourself and all that. These stories are kusim, stories are kunini. Hizo ni vitu ambazo zina ku throw out of the umenelewa, the right track and all that. If you really if you like somebody, let them know you like them. Umenelewa. Yeah, and if you ain't messing with nobody like stay out of the way. Umenelewa. Me I'm not simping, that's my friend. I mean, that's my friend, you know, like, yeah, so I was just wishing a happy birthday. I thought it, it was only right. Yeah. Yeah. So, let me show America tour. Okay, I'm going to go to America tour. 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 Africa mm -hmm. na tukaweza ku represent ku BN akapata fursa mimi kulikuwa miongoni mwa wasanii ambao wali represent Kenya mm -hmm. na tukiangalia hits zako tukiangalia mm -hmm. projects zako kazi zako safi zinaziuza Kenya mkubali staff kwa mkubali afu kwa mkubali mm -hmm. internationally umekubalika mm -hmm. maybe yapi una yapi kusema kwa BN kwanza alafu people na feel ilikuwa sawa hiyo list ilikuwa kuna vitu walizingatia na wewe kama msanii ulifeel ku miss out kwa among the top 100 Africa kivipi kama wewe msanii vipi ulikukosa kwenye hiyo list uh, mimi kama mimi kumuona BN pale ninafurahi umeelewa maana um mimi umeona mnajua kama wakati wangu pia nimetop sana and all that so muziki ni graph ni kitu ambacho umeona kuna muda ambao ukiwa pengine umechukua break 
umeelewa sasa zingine huenda kawa pingine ya huko pale no, kama mimi nimechukua miezi miwili ni sawa nisipoonekana pale lakini kitu kingine pia sio lazima iwe ni mimi tu kuna wakati mwingine pia nikiwa na wenzangu ama ndugu zangu kama kina BN wanafanya hivyo nashukuru and all that yeah so it's not an issue yeah. kuna mwisho kwa utile mimi naitwa Mboya na wewe ni mmoja wa wasanii mwenye una invest sana ni katika appearance yako juzi tuliokuwa kaka tulikuwa US niliona ulinua chini ya milioni moja wakati wasanii wetu wa Kenya wanavaa vitu fake na pia wewe ni mmoja ambao unanunua viatu vya laki saba, laki ngapi labda Uh, ni nini labda ina, inakufanya uinvest sana katika mavazi na ushauri gani unao labda kwa wasanii wa Kenya wanaova vitu fake? Mtu ova vitu kitu chake mzee. <laughs> anyway, asante sana kwa so, safari. So yeah. Kidogo mchovu nini? Lakini kila mtu ova kitu chake na sio issue. Mimi napenda kuvaa. Yaani wanaonijua ni toka na uza nguo mitumba mimi nilikuwa navaa mimi napiga tunaita tunaita kupiga mimi upigaga ni kaida yangu wala so issue is not to try and improve anything ama ama kitu kama hicho man i love you guys i appreciate you and my guy here there's something what it is yeah i'm going to come to the gift line yeah 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 so my brother how to wait wait in kenya why am i kenya yeah that's a king yeah let me see let me see karibu karibu